So without further ado, let's uh, let's dig in. Um, first of all, why launch code and what can you do? Um, we have a lot of information and not all the information could necessarily even be handled in this one hour session. Um, so we have these three QR codes that are directing you to three general spots that are super important. We're also going to link these same pages in the chat. So feel free to grab the link from the chat or use your phone to scan the QR code. On the left, we have a lot of tips about how to apply to launch code courses over the years, and we've been around for 11 years now, we've had a lot of people apply and take our courses, over 10,000 learners and over 3,500 people in jobs. So there are a lot of good tips out there. We also have open applications available right now for courses that we are uh, taking students into, and that middle QR code will get you there. And then the QR code on your right is the one where we have a lot of frequently asked questions. So small things that you might just be wondering about or something that you forget to ask in the session, this is a great place to go back to afterwards and find out if uh, maybe that question already exists there. And if not, you can always email us too at recruitment at launchcode.org, which is right above the QR codes. And we'd be happy to get back to you in uh, as much as quick as time as we possibly can. So who is LaunchCode and why would you want to join us? Um, LaunchCode is an organization where we believe that talent can come from anywhere and join the tech career field. Um, we specifically provide free training in the tech field to bright, passionate, motivated individuals. We're looking for people who want to make a change and join the tech field. And we want to make sure that we have an easy access point for you to do that. In addition to providing you the training that you need to join the tech field, we also have a robust workforce development component where we actually help connect you with jobs in the tech field. We offer internships and then also have the opportunity for direct hire and placement roles as well. And my colleague Allison from our education operations team will talk a little bit more about what the career part of our journey looks like as well. So why would you go into tech and why would that be now? Uh, there is an overwhelming need for a wide variety of individuals to go into computer science and coding jobs. We see that right now we only have about 90,000 people who are graduating from computer science degree programs. That in no way, shape, or form will meet the needs of our workforce development uh, across the United States right now. With over 350,000 jobs becoming available in the field, this is an excellent time to join the tech field and with free training available through Launch Code, you could be one of those people for sure. So why Launch Code? There are lots of programs out there that could train you in becoming a technological expert and get you into a tech job. Uh, it's not just because our program is free. Yes, it is, and that is an incredible benefit. But one of the things that we really value at Launch Code is that we create pathways for people who might not otherwise find their way into a tech field, for people whose voices are often underrepresented in technology jobs as well. Uh, so the impact that we end up having for individuals who come through our program is really, really significant. If you look across the bottom of this slide, I think you see three stats that just really speak for themselves in the significance that coming to launch code can have in someone's individual life and then in the lives of those around them, um, but not just the individual, also the employer. We recently did a survey with our employee partners and overwhelmingly we found that our graduates were ranked more highly than graduates coming from other even four-year program degrees, degree programs by the employee partners. They found that our employees were better prepared, they stayed longer in their positions, they um, were higher job satisfaction candidates. So it's not just getting a job, it's getting a job that you're gonna love by completing a launch code program. So that's kind of an overview of what we do here at the general Why Launch Code, but now I'd like to turn it over to my friend and colleague, Allison, who will tell you a little bit more about what it like, looks like to be a student here at Launch Code. Allison? Hi, everyone. Um, so uh, this is our kind of our outline of our typical path for a launch coder. So discovering what you want to learn, and we have lots of different options, which we'll talk about in a moment. And then um, applying, you'll be learning those skills uh, in a variety of different formats, which we'll also talk about uh, searching for a job and then landing the job. We help through all parts of the steps from the very beginning of applying all the way through um, your placement at a company or your next career. Um, you can go ahead to the next slide. So um, the different formats that we provide for classes, because I saw that question, is we have both in-person and virtual options. Uh, in addition to that, we also have part-time one evening a week, 
and then part-time two evening a week. And then we also offer occasional full-time courses, uh, which would be nine to five Monday through Friday. So there's lots of different formats for you to figure out what would work best for you and your family. Uh, in addition to that, we have a variety of skills. Uh, so our main programming is um, part-time web development. Uh, and then we also offer data analysis, Salesforce SQL database. And then we also run some specialized programs that will pop up from time to time. Uh, for example, mainframe or um, technical analyst. So uh, there's there's things that if these uh, skill sets don't quite appeal to you, there might be other options coming down the line. Uh, the other really important part to our programs, education programs, is our classroom model. So what we do is a flipped classroom where you do all of the reading and kind of the introduction to things in um, before you come to class. And then when you come to class, there's questions and answers and we reinforce the learning. So you do your homework or what might be perceived as homework in class. When you're doing all the really challenging work, we will have staff there to support you and you're doing it live with your other uh, colleagues. And that leads us to course support. So we have a dedicated staff of program managers uh, that oversee the course, kind of like a principal. If Launch Code is a school, we have program managers who are principal and help run and make sure everything's going smoothly. And when problems crop up, uh, they're able to address it. Uh, we have one, typically one lead instructor for each course, and then multiple teaching assistants. All teaching assistants are typically assigned like a set group of learners. So you would have one person to go to. And then in addition to that, the lead teacher and then the instructional uh, or and then the program manager. So there's different levels of support along with all the peers that you would be learning alongside. And then what is expected? So we really focus on um, passion and drive here. So people who are super motivated and invested in the process, who are wanting to make a career change or just get into tech, uh, and not necessarily people who are wanting just to try to figure out if they like it or not. We have some resources for that, but really people who want to make a change and really dig in. Uh, so we also ask that, um, so these are the things that we ask for our learners, that they make a sincere commitment to the course, um, that you're able to attend as much as possible. And if you can't um, make that commitment now, that doesn't mean you can't make that commitment in the future or find a different format of our class that would work better for you. Um, and then we also ask, because our courses, our typical courses are part-time most frequently, that you do have dedicated time outside of the course to do the preparation materials as part of the flipped classroom before you come to class. Great. And then um, what you'll be working towards. So <laughs> this is probably the most important part that people are super interested in is after I've learned this, how are you going to help me get a job? So we have two really common pathways. The first is that um, once you graduate from one of our courses, we have a program uh, where we would link you up with a company and you would interview with them and uh, be hired and work with them as an apprentice. And we call that direct placement. We also have another opportunity where you are searching for jobs on your own and you might apply on your own, but then Launch Code can support you, um, help prepare you for the interview help give you feedback on your interviewing skills and those we call assisted placements. And I, oh, and one more. Yes. So, uh, these are all the different kinds of companies that we work with, uh, both locally as well as nationally. Uh, we have lots of really good, uh, working relationships with these companies at different scales. And so people who might not want to work for a large corporation, um, you know, we do have much smaller set uh, companies that we work with, as well as like nonprofits and government entities. I think that's it. Back to you, Kelly. All right. Thanks so much, Allison. Um, as we think about all that great information that Allison gave us, um, it can get you pretty excited about the prospect for having a career in technology. And so I really want to just overview with you what it looks like to go through an application process here at Launch Code. So first of all, all of our applications are listed on our website. Every time a new course opens, we announce it. Uh, one of the great things you could do is get on our email list and we announce whenever we have new courses opening up. I think an important part of Launch Code is who are we serving? Where do we serve? Right now, we have three hub cities that we serve out of, St. Louis, Kansas City, and Philadelphia. 
whether our courses are in-person or virtual, you must live in one of those three geographic regions in order to enroll in Launch Code courses right now. We are always looking to expand. So again, I encourage you to get on our email list because there is a chance that we may be bringing some targeted opportunities on a national scale to your region. Um, so just because we may not serve your city or your area as a hub right now, doesn't mean that we can't sometime in the future. Uh, so once you know that you're in an area that we serve, then you're going to want to go onto the Launch Code website and create an account, which will allow you to access an application. Um, the first thing we do is just ask you basic demographic information, again, making sure we know where you are and that you're in an area we serve, and then a little bit about who you are. The next thing we do is in that who you are area is we start asking you a couple of essay questions that really start to gauge your interest in the field, um, a general aptitude for the field, but you don't have to have a huge giant background in coding in order to be part of Launch Codes programming. You just have to have an interest, you have to be passionate, and you have to be motivated. The next thing we do is we ask you to take a problem solving assessment. It's usually about a 10 question assessment. It mainly looks at math skills and then general problem solving skills, logic based questions. So once you go through those different parts of the process, the recruitment team evaluates the applications and the answers. Yes, we read every single essay. We look at every single application individually. And then a subgroup of individuals are selected to continue on into phase two of our application process. During phase two, we ask you to do two main activities. Uh, one is to answer some video interview questions, depending upon which class you are interested in joining. There'll be different questions and a different volume of questions. Um, those are one-way video interviews that you do. So you will actually get a link to a video interview platform. You'll be able to record yourself. You can re-record as many times as you like. You can do it from a computer or from a phone, whatever is most convenient and easy for you. Um, we just want to make sure that you do it so we can get to know you a little bit more. And then we also ask you to do an activity that helps you plan out a week in the life of a launch coder. So basically being able to say, this is what I normally do in my life. And I understand that in order to make a transformational change like a career in tech, I'm going to have to carve out quite a bit of time to do it. And so we just help you think through what that looks like for you now, so that when you get into your class, you're well prepared to balance those new time commitments with the time commitments your life already requires of you. Once we have all those pieces in place, then we typically select a class of candidates to go into our next Launch Code course. I will tell you that our courses, as you might imagine, are incredibly popular. And so what we end up in, in, in Almost every case, we end up having to, um, we exceed the number of applicants that we can fit into a course. Because even if it's a virtual course, we still want to make sure that we have a good class size so that everybody can get individualized attention. Um, so basically, there are one of three things that can happen when you um, complete the application process. You can be offered a place in the class. Your application can be identified as a quality applicant, but we simply don't have space. So we may offer you a deferred spot into a future class, in which case you'll know at that time that you have a spot and then you have the opportunity to go and look through the course catalog of what's coming up, find another course that fits well into your schedule and we can then place you into that class. Or the third option is that we may tell you that right now is not the right time to begin your launch code journey. Um, and sometimes that means that it's just simply we ran out of space and that's often oftentimes the largest single reason that candidates don't end up joining a launch code class is we just don't have enough space. But other things that can happen is um, if we see that you're struggling with your math skills, it may be time to, to revisit your math skills. Or um, it may be that we want to make sure that you're prepared to make this career shift. And in that case, you'll probably hear from somebody on the recruitment team to help you figure out what your next steps might look like and how you can better your application the next time that you want to join a launch code class. You can apply as many times as you'd like to launch code. We don't have a limit on the number of applications that you can make to the program. Uh, so each of our programs is slightly different. And so I wanted to give a brief overview of each one. Um, for our part-time web development program that's a virtual class, it's typically a 28-week program that meets two days a week, um, three hours in the evening time. Um, outside of the regular class time, we find that the students who are most successful are typically spending 15 to 20 hours of extra study time outside of the time that they spend in class. Um, right now, we have courses available in part-time web dev that are serving um, virtual learners in St. Louis, Kansas City, and Philadelphia. 
we actually have a class right now that's um, taking learners in that we're taking applications through mid-April and then we have a class that starts in June. So feel free to uh, log on and check that out. The link to apply for that class is in your chat. We also have a Women Plus web development course. Uh, we have a whole uh, category and department for Women Plus learning here at LaunchCode. And those are courses who are really reserved for uh, female and female identifying individuals who traditionally are very underrepresented in the tech field. Um, those programs run a little bit longer in length, so they're 45 weeks long. And the reason that they're longer is because they only meet one day a week rather than two days. And that's really meant to help balance the competing priorities that a lot of our female and female identifying students are balancing as they make a transition to a career in technology. The same amount of time is expected for out-of-class study, even though it's a slower pace. So um, I would not expect that you're doing less time learning. It's just you have a larger, longer timeline in which to absorb the information. And then right now that course is available only to our St. Louis learners and it is a virtual option. And you can see the deadlines and the class starting at the bottom of the slide. In addition, we have a data analysis class that we're offering right now. And this is also a St. Louis based course. I have to tell you data is hot. We have a lot of interested applicants and we have a lot of job employment opportunities that we see coming this year for data analysis. Um, that program is 26 weeks. Uh, again, it's an evening class that meets once a week with about the same amount of time outside of class to study. And this is a course that we are offering in person at our Launch Code headquarters in St. Louis in the Central West End. Um, and we would love to have you join us. I will tell you as a general rule, I hear that our data analysis class is one of our more challenging tracks, but I also think that people find it incredibly rewarding. So how do you do it? Pretty simple. You get on the website and you apply. The rest will come from the recruitment team. Um, and the three of us on the recruitment team here at Launch Code work individually with every applicant. Savannah and Claire are here with us today as well. They're part of the recruitment team. You can see them waving. Um, so you fill out your QR code, link your QR code to the application, and we can get you started. Um, remember, there are multiple pieces to this, though. So it's not just completing the application. There's the assessment. There's phase two. So you want to get started as early as possible. 